How would you like to make money from real estate investing? And to make things more interesting, how would you like it if I say you can make exceedingly abundant cash in just 5 years? Don't believe me? Watch the video until the end and know the 9 things you can do to make $2 million from real estate investing while working full time. Now it's true that most of the world's millionaires have made their fortunes through real estate investments. But simply buying a property won't necessarily make you rich. In fact, many people who venture into real estate investing end up with just a few properties in their portfolio or empty bank accounts. So how do you make millions in real estate? You have to do things differently. So without further ado, here are the 9 things you can do to make $2 million from real estate investing while working full time. Number 9. Lay Your Goals Correctly Before you start your search for your first investment property, take some time to spell out your goals. Are you looking for rental income, capital growth, or both? And how soon do you hope to achieve these goals? By answering these questions, you will be better equipped to choose the right type of property, determine the best financing options, and develop a strategy for managing your investment. I recommend being specific and realistic with your goals. Simply saying you want to make a lot of money isn't enough. Instead, set specific targets that are achievable within a reasonable time frame. With clear goals in mind, you'll be able to approach real estate investing with confidence and make the most of your investments. And take it from me, you'll even be more confident if you stay until the end of the video. This is only the tip of the iceberg. The other things you can do to make money are still waiting. Don't miss out. While we're at it, please like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Help us spread the good news by sharing to more people. And now, number 8, one strategy at a time. There are countless strategies that you can use to achieve success. You think I'm kidding? No, I'm not. From investing in REITs to flipping houses, there are a lot of ways to try your hand at turning a profit. However, if you're just starting out, I want you to take things slow and focus on one strategy at a time. Everyone knows that it can be tempting to want to try every strategy under the sun. But doing so can quickly lead to feeling overwhelmed and ultimately achieving very little. Instead, pick one strategy and stick with it until you become a master before moving on to other strategies. For most beginner real estate investors, the best strategy to start with is buying rental properties. This is a relatively simple approach that if done correctly can help you generate a steady cash flow each month. Trust me, it's a great starting point for building your real estate portfolio and working your way towards making millions in the industry. Remember, slow and steady wins the race in the world of real estate investing. Number 7. Start Bits by Bits When setting your goals, it's important to have big aspirations. Even our mother wants us to dream big, right? But wait, it's also equally important to break them down into smaller, more manageable steps. This way you can track your progress and avoid feeling overwhelmed. Don't put all your eggs in one basket by investing all your money in your first real estate deal. It's unlikely to be your best one and you're more likely to make mistakes at the beginning. I suggest starting with cheaper and simpler properties like single-family homes. This way you can avoid any catastrophic consequences in case things don't work out. By investing in smaller deals, you'll also be able to learn the ropes, build your real estate knowledge, and gain experience in the industry. As you become more confident and knowledgeable, you can start making bigger investments with minimal risk. Engrave this in your mind. Real estate investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Starting small and working your way up is the key to success in the industry. Number 6. Improve your education The most successful people in any field are usually those who are experts in their craft, and real estate is no exception. The more you know, the better prepared you'll be to make informed decisions and stay ahead of the competition. Fortunately, there are plenty of resources available to help you learn about real estate investing and stay up to date on industry trends. From books and blogs to podcasts and YouTube videos, there's no shortage of information out there. And if you really want to take your learning to the next level, consider finding a mentor who can share their expertise and help you avoid common mistakes. Of course, don't get stuck in learning mode forever. At some point, you'll need to take action and start applying what you've learned. Don't worry if you don't feel like you know everything yet. Start with the basics and keep learning as you go. With time and practice, you'll gain the experience and confidence you need to make smart investments and build your wealth. Number 5. Prioritize Contingency Fund The last thing you want is to be caught off guard and unable to pay for repairs or mortgage payments because you didn't prepare for unforeseen circumstances. That's why having an emergency fund is critical. It will provide you with a financial safety net to fall back on when times get tough. 
Experts recommend having cash reserves that can cover at least six months of your operating expenses. This should include all of your property-related costs, such as mortgage payments, repairs, and maintenance expenses. By having the safety net in place, you can ensure that you'll have the resources to keep your property afloat even during tough times. Number 4. Never Forget Leverage Many people think that they need a lot of money to invest in real estate, but that's not necessarily the case. The key is to use leverage. Leverage means using borrowed money to finance your investment. In the case of real estate investing, this usually means taking out a mortgage loan. The great thing about leverage is that your tenant will be the one paying down the loan for you. This means that you can buy an income property even if you don't have a lot of money of your own. Using leverage has a number of benefits. First, it allows you to multiply your purchasing power. You'll be able to buy a much larger income property than you are able to if you are using only your own money. Second, using leverage reduces your risk because you're not using all of your own money. You're not risking everything if the investment doesn't work out. So what's the solution? Leverage. Through this, you can buy multiple rental properties much faster than you would be able to otherwise. Number three, seek out highly potential properties. Not a lot of people know this, but one way to earn money from your investment property is through real estate appreciation, where your property value rises over time. By charging higher rent, attracting more tenants, and selling your property at a profit, appreciation can significantly grow your net worth. To maximize your chances of appreciation, consider investing in growing markets with a strong job market, population growth, and promising future development plans. This will increase the demand for property in the area, leading to higher prices and greater profits. Number 2. Fix and Flip Essentially, flipping a house means purchasing a property, investing in renovations, and selling it at a higher value than the original purchase price. You can make great money from this, trust me, but there's always a but to everything. Listen, some people who flip houses choose to focus on high-end luxury homes that can be sold for millions of dollars. If done correctly, the return on investment can be astronomical. However, there are also many factors that can quickly turn a profit into a loss, such as unexpected expenses or a downturn in the housing market. Despite the risks involved, some individuals have turned flipping into a successful business. After all, starting small and building up can be a smart strategy. A lot of people reportedly began flipping a single home, then used the profits to flip several at once. Eventually, they moved on to flipping high-end luxury homes and saw their return skyrocket. Now tell me, just how fantastic is that? Number 1. Know the numbers Crunching down the numbers on rental properties for sale is paramount to finding the best deals out there. To add, it's also about interpreting them correctly. To invest in cash flow properties with a good ROI, you need accurate forecasts. But those forecasts are only as good as the tools you're using. Thankfully, there are plenty of spreadsheets and software available to help with real estate data analysis. With these tools, you can quickly calculate the potential cash flow and ROI of a property, taking into account all the expenses such as maintenance costs, property taxes, and insurance. You can also analyze trends in the real estate market, including rental prices and vacancy rates. As I've mentioned, you also need to have a good understanding of the local market. What are the rental rates in the area? How long do properties typically stay on the market? What's the competition like? These are all factors to consider when running the numbers on a potential investment. If you ask me, achieving financial freedom through real estate investing while still working full-time is possible. With discipline, dedication, and a willingness to learn, anyone can achieve the goal of making $2 million in just five years. It won't be easy, but it's definitely achievable. So how do you feel about real estate investing while working full-time? Share your opinions in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next one.